Hi, this is Kenneth Wong, editor for DE Magazine. Welcome to another episode of Video News Roundup. Let's start with an epic announcement, so to speak. At the recent game developer conference, Epic Games, which owns the Unreal Game Engine, announces a hefty 100 million grant in its keynote. Epic is founded on building games and sharing the results of all of our work with the whole world. The Unreal Engine is funded by a 5% revenue share from games built with it in the business model where we succeed only when you succeed as a developer. And now, thanks to Fortnite's amazing financial success, we're launching a new grant program, Epic Mega Grants. <laughs> so this is a five-year program that will also provide no-strings-attached grant funding across game development, enterprise, film, education and academia, and open source. And by str no strings attached, we mean we'll uh, consider every grant proposal and gra make grants based on merits and potential, um, and there are no, uh, there's nothing due back to Epic, no obligation of publishing or store or any other uh, commercial relationship. And this uh, Epic Mega Grants Fund will distribute $100 million. The money is to support game developers, enterprise professionals, media and entertainment creators, student educators, and tool developers doing amazing things with Unreal Game Engine, the company says. Unreal is one of the two major game engines developers rely on, the other being Unity Game Engine. Both game engines are offering pipelines to bring cat data into their own visualization environments for AR and VR viewing. At the same time Game Developer Conference was taking place, the NVIDIA GPU Technology Conference, known as GTC, was also taking place. At the conference, NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang announced the purchase of Mellanox, an interconnect company. So it turns out, in the future, the way you design a data center is going to change. Instead of a whole bunch of compute nodes that are connected essentially by networking, the networking and the compute will become one continuous computing fabric. The network is going to become really, really important. And that's one of the reasons why recently we announced that uh, we're acquiring Mellanox. And let me, uh, let me do this. Let's introduce the CEO of Mellanox, E.L. Waldman, please. Ladies and gentlemen, a visionary, a giant in the industry, and pretty big guy. <laughs> Owning a major player in interconnect sector like Mellanox gives NVIDIA the ability to design high-performance computing and data center products where the GPUs can talk to one another much more efficiently, in a manner of speaking. This will be an important feature as NVIDIA begins to attract more and more AI developers, autonomous car developers, and data scientists, all of whom tend to rely on heavy-duty high-performance computing solutions. Huang also seems to think that data scientists need a workstation of their own custom-made for their own workflows. So NVIDIA is launching what it calls the Data Science Workstation. The availability of data, the machine learning algorithms, and high-performance computing has made it possible for us now to use this as the fourth pillar of scientific discovery. We think there needs to be a new type of computer built. And so we decided that the workstation has to be re-engineered, a new type of workstation with very, very fast storage, very, very fast I.O., really fast computation with very fast memories. This type of architecture, a workstation for data scientists, is really complicated to build. In fact, just us building it, installing and building the software and tuning the whole computer to deliver the performance is not easy. We're basically taking what otherwise is a high-performance computing Data, data center IT team and shrink it into one box. As usual, NVIDIA has delivered the reference architecture to its original equipment maker partners. The OEMs like HP, Dell, Lenovo, Box and others are now to take the reference architecture and offer their own flavors of the data science workstation. 
Techsoft has just released Hoops 2019, a series of software developer kits or SDKs for visualization and data exchange. The focus of these are AR, VR, additive manufacturing, and mobile applications. Hoops SDKs make it possible to view rich CAD data in a lightweight format so you can, without having the CAD software, view the 3D model in specific graphics style, view cross sections, explode the assembly, and perform other operations. Hoops lets you do this in a lightweight device or over the web straight from a browser. That is all the news for this week. For more engineering and design related news and details about some of the items you have just seen, Go to Digital Engineering 24-7. That's D-I-G-I-T-A-L-E-N-G-247.com. Also, please subscribe to our YouTube channel titled DE Streaming. Until next time, I'm Kenneth Wong for DE signing off.